Hey, good evening. Welcome to the Finance Committee meeting for Tuesday, November 21st, 2017. Happy Thanksgiving to all those out there watching us tonight. Uh, we've got our agenda. We've got the 2018 budget update, which uh, I was going to get from Bonnie, but Bonnie's not here tonight, so we may skip that for our, our next meeting. Uh, public input. We have a financial dashboard discussion. Which you all have a copy of that. Uh, member updates, uh, minutes, and adjourn. So the items may be taken out of order. So, um, can we adjourn first? <laughs> can we adjourn <laughs> first? So we'll go with, uh, since there's no public here, there's no public input. Uh, we'll just go right to the dashboard discussion. Uh, I had this updated. So there's a few things that I had added based on our conversation from the last meeting. Um, put the field study assessment on here, the town hall space needs assessment, uh, Cricket Lane property, which is the new thing that's kind of hot, and then the uh, five-year plan review, which uh, Bonnie, in speaking with her today, she is planning to present this to the Board of Selectmen on 12-4, and uh, it's not a joint meeting scheduled for us, but we're certainly all welcome to attend if we'd like to sit in on that <clears throat> meeting so we can see what the five-year plan looks like. Does okay. that does that include all departments? Yeah, it's our five plan five business okay. plan review or a financial plan review. Sorry, so used to saying business plan from my work. Um, yeah, it's our, the financial plan review for for the next five years. So you're more than welcome to attend. I I will plan on attending that meeting. Also, there that night they're going to be talking about the Cricket Lane property that's come up. Uh, and for those after of you, uh, yeah, reviewing the uh, park and rec budget with Alicia as it is, um, their best guesstimate on the beach house is around 400000 at this point. 400000 Yeah, just, you can put that as a placeholder. I, I don't know whether <clears throat> that's 300000 or 600, but that's their best guess at this point. 400 k Okay. Okay. All right, we'll get that in there. Any other uh, updates with uh, regards to your meetings with the respective departments? I met with Bonnie uh, on all the financial departments uh, to include um, the assessor's office. Everything from them is going to be exactly as last year, no, no change. There may be a, a little boost um, from the new munis system in terms of cost for work on that, but other than that, nothing. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, I <clears throat> I sat down with all, all my departments. Uh, police department, uh, the only headcount they're actually uh, looking for is another headcount in the control center. And uh, they're trying to tie their data up to show that they really need it before a meeting. Uh, if they get that headcount, it's about a $48,000 plus OPEB hit. Um, and the, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the salaries for the police chief with uh, Matt retiring as of 7-1, um, the expected lower salary, because Matt's at the max, probably would hire somebody at something less than the max, um, and the buyout of Matt's contract, basically are a wash for next year. So from a salary standpoint, it's flat. And that may actually give us some, a little bit of room the year after. But so we have Matt at X. Because we're buying him out for what, three months, is it? No, no. It's, 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 it's basically, the it's basically the just his, uh, um, I don't know what they call it, vacations, no. and vacations and all the, all the stipends that they get on day one. Of the of the calendar of the uh, fiscal year, and it's about twenty eight grand for him. So okay. he, he gets that, um, and then that added to what he you'd expect that would be play, paying a chief is about what Max Matt's making now. So that's about a wash. Whether you know whether we pay more or less for the chief, it'll float, but it, it's not a big deal. Uh, capital is in you know sort of normal. Um, How many cruises are there? Another year, one, yeah. In another year or so, they're going to be uh, needing to uh, uh, purchase a canine car. 
uh, and whether they can do that through donations the way they did last time or whether they need help from the town, they don't know. But that's, that's that. Veterans agent is flat with the exception of a thousand bucks for um, VA claims uh, software and a signature pad. They're uh, going <coughs> to uh, paperless, so he needs a software to fill out the forms and then the <coughs> applicant signs like you sign at Donlands or Market right, Basket right, just a, the a pad, pad to sign. Yeah, it's a thousand bucks for him. Um, Town clerk, uh, she's going to have uh, two extra elections next year, 2018, as a primary and a, f a final. So that's another seven grand, 3,500 bucks an election. Uh, town meeting, uh, it's about $2,500 per town meeting to rent the AV equipment. Um, that you know, the big screens and the. the hearing impaired type in interpretive in, service in, interpretive service so that's um, you know seven plus five because two town meetings a year that's about twelve thousand dollars more than we had this year um, so that's that's what that is um, uh, park and rec um, there are a couple things there <clears throat> one is uh, they do the, uh, uh, the help to the, to the needy Christmas tree, and they, they have a tree in, down here and up at the library and whatnot. But they do all of the vetting of the people, their eligibility and all that through forms that people fill out and all. And um, Alicia feels that that belongs up with the EHS, and I do too. I mean, it's, it's, not, a, it's not a park and rec mm. activity, but she said that you know, they won't drop it, but it really ties them up for about a month, and it really belongs upstairs. And I asked her to keep going this year because we don't have a director up there. So rather than, you know, just let it go, uh, I think it's an important program for the town and the kids. So uh, she's doing that. But um, I talked to <coughs> Anthony Ansalgi, who's temporarily looking over that group, um, and he agrees that it belongs upstairs. Also, um, in looking at the organization the way it is, he also feels that you know we obviously need the director, but someone in the organization needs to sort of have some backup capability for her uh, or him uh, when they hire the director. Um, and that may be somebody that we already have that could take on some more effort or, or not. But um, it may be uh, they'll come back to us mid or late year for some more money for that activity. Back up of whom are we talking about? I got director. Which director? Of EHS uh, or of a Park no, and Rec? No, EHS. Okay. Okay. Um, so that might be a something they come back for. They're not budgeting for it, but uh, from what he's seeing, you know, trying to piece things together with uh, Pam not there, he, he's really, you know, there, there's nobody knows what's going on in, the, in there um, from a director standpoint. You know, the, the outreach is two very capable people there and they're doing great work, but there's the other activities need to be supported. So we may hear more about that when Anthony talks to us on uh, the 16th? 16th, whatever it is. Yep. Yep. 16th. So, okay. Um, it's basically, a pretty much business <clears throat> as usual with those few exceptions. Okay. Thank you for those updates. Do you have anything on your end, Betsy? I talked to um, the fire chief and deputy, and you know they they're steady state. You know they've been planning this for a long time, so there's not any surprises. Fire you know. <laughs> it's, uh, well, they need a fire engine, and then the, the you know the fire building is going. At, you know. As it is, they have had a lot of surprises, and they started digging into the ground there, putting stuff in. I guess a lot of, a lot of <coughs> Littleton history, archaeological, in there, but uh, but they're going forward. But it, again, the, the the main thing for them is is the new big thing is the fire. Did, but, did, and it's not new. It's again, it's been on the been on yeah, plan no, forever. Yeah, there's no surprises there. No. Did they give you an estimated uh, date when they'll get in? It keeps seems yeah. to keep moving. Well, out. I don't know. Last I heard, it's still middle of January. Yeah. Right? It's still the middle of January. Last week. 
Yeah. Should, they should we have that fire engine on here? Uh, we probably should because it's a pretty big, a pretty good. It's 1.2 M, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
we'll deal with it when it comes. He says, well, you know it's coming, so you ought to at least discuss it. And I think you don't want to do a, we don't do it, we aren't going to vote on it again. I mean, it's coming to the point where they, they have to take a stand one way or the other. True, but I think the wild card is, is how much of the grant are we going to get? We don't know until it's awarded, right? I mean, it's up well, to if, 40, if, it's if up you got, to 40 percent, right? But, but if, if you got 50 percent, you still got to come up with another eight million dollars, right? So you know, depending on you know whose numbers you believe, it's yeah. between seven and <clears throat> about seven that. and eight million yeah. bucks. So. It's a big number. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, bigger it's probably going to have to be a debt exclusion. Well, well oh, I, no, there's no other way around. Right. Yeah, there's right. no way around. It. Right. It's well, the, the thinking ought to be whether or not they want to let this thing drag on till they get an award and then they got eight million dollars in hand and they're waving it around. You know, is there the will to build a new library at this time? They ought to say, if they say, yeah, well, that, there's, that's the waffle. Yeah, that's all I'm the saying. The waffle is, well, we'll you know, those who are against it are hoping they won't get the award. But that's a false hope, you know. Well, the award will come. Yeah, right. it's is just it, no doubt about it. Much. Is it in FY19 yeah. or FY20? Right. When it's not going to be further yeah. out than that, I no. can't imagine. No. no. Not if we're what fifth on the list? Fifth, you said? Fifth. Fifth. Yeah. yeah I would think in the next two so years. I, you know, I think just <coughs> it needs to be up on the radar screen. That's all. Yeah. Well, it's on our, our dashboard, right. so we'll keep it on there. And <coughs> yeah, I got it as a question mark for fiscal 19, depending on, you know, what happens. You know, when when it gets awarded. And might get pushed out, kick the can down the road another year. Well, who knows what happens to the economy between now and then, too? I mean, that's right. You know, <laughs> the yeah, stock market right. could be at forty thousand, or maybe not. Look at that crystal ball. Right? <laughs> See what happens in Alabama. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> the stock market has really very well to do with the average cash. Hang on, Steve. No, I know. Um, it's indicative no. Of Tom and I have been crashes. playing email tag as to when. You know, we can both get together and go visit Scott Edwards. So that's still on our radar screen. I haven't done anything about cemetery or historical yet, but I'll probably just reach out in a phone call. Yeah, I guess the best thing is if, if you haven't made contact with any of these folks, make sure they're ready for the 16th when they come in yeah. to meet with us for the all-day session. Uh, you know, so if you've got any departments that are still kind of lingering out there, just make sure they're ready. Well, typically when we go to meet with the uh, light department, they don't have their stuff ready yet anyway. So. It's like us with school. Oh, yeah. They're, they're on a calendar year, really, anyway. The water department's on. That's fiscal right. Year. The light yeah. department's on calendar. Yes. So. yes. I, I met, uh, Gary and I met with um, Chris over at the highway, and um, there was definitely a, a few things that we have reviewed. Um, get, get to my notes here. I'm on the wrong page because I'm taking notes. Um, so there's a few capital things. It's about uh, it's a little over 400,000. Um, number one, they're looking for a, a wide format printer. Uh, they've got a whole bunch of drawings and stuff of roads and things that are just kind of sitting there. And if anything ever happens to it, um, that's lost. They don't have a backup, and they really need to be able to make copies. And it's a $27,000 uh, <clears throat> dollar expense. So is that a scanner or a printer? <clears throat> it's a scanner and a printer. Okay. It's a wide that's format. Answer. Scanner and printer, <laughs> correct. Just look at my notes. Um, looking like they're going to request the replacement of the 92 Mac dump truck, uh, $250,000. Uh, there isn't a trade-in value assessed with the old one just yet, but the new one's about 250 grand. So, <coughs> um, <coughs> what, what are they doing down there? 1992. They can't keep that thing going for another 10 years. <laughs> well, they refurbed it in 2012. I mean, Jim's done a great job with that. He got eight years. So 2011, they got eight years out of it. You could get God, the rest they, of the people to do that mm -hmm. with their cash. Yeah, There's awesome. nobody alive that doesn't work on a 92 vehicle. <laughs> yeah, I certainly got his money's worth out of it. Absolutely. Um, They've done a heck of a job. They've got uh, a wide deck mower. There's an old uh, Jacobson that they've got. Uh, I think it's a 98 or 99. I wasn't sure the age of it. It's pretty old. But it's one of those uh, with the wings on it. You can drop down and mow. Mm -hmm. so they're looking to replace that. That's 65000 uh, They're looking to get a, a small road, like a used road paver. It's about $25,000, but they're going to 
look to trade in their grader. They haven't used the grader because we're not dirt roads anymore in town that we maintain. So they're looking to trade in the grader, and he said they'd be getting about 18000 for the grader. So probably be about $7,000, give or take a 1000 there. Uh, also looking to replace one of the three-quarter ton pickups, the 2011. Uh, it's about 47000 They haven't got a trade-in value yet for that. And then lastly, it uh, looks like he's planning for $20,000 for street signs as with this new um, town speed limit that's passed. Looks like all the roads are going to need to be posted, so uh, it's about 20000 bucks. What, what new speed limit? Yeah, I didn't know anything about that either. Uh, this, that. There was an article at the town meeting. Town meeting it was yeah. at town meeting. Those of you so who showed up at town meeting. Which, oh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hey, you guys weren't there. Yeah, there you go. I was out of town. <laughs> So it looks like they're going to have to post, uh, if, if it goes the way that Chris thinks it's going to go, they're going to have to post all the streets in town. So, so are they lowering the speed? Yes. 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 In most areas, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Except Harvard Road. So you can go Harvard Road, you can still go flying down the hill by very far. <laughs> so, so that's uh, all the, all the um, capital. And then um, they're looking at adding um, some park staff, two two additional um, folks for you know, mowing the lawns and taking care of the fields and all that good stuff. So he's not sure how that's going to work out with some of the monies that's coming over. Is that full-time or part-time? Full-time. Full-time. Yeah. So, uh, and then no changes uh, on the highway staff at this, this point. Yeah, full-time. I have a full-time. Oh, and a seasonal. Sorry. Missed that. Seasonal. Know. There's one seasonal. One seasonal and a, a full-time. And did he talk about the million bucks they want to repave the uh, uh, did high school? For the high school, there's a million dollars on here uh, to replace. It's over. She's looking at doing it over two years, so it'd be 500 and 500. Yep. And then. Um, God, that seems like an awful lot of money for a paving job. Yeah, it's the whole. I know. There's, a lot, I, of, there's a lot of impervious surface out yeah, there. Yeah, I know, but still, it's. <laughs> Well, my age, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they don't use oil and cinders yeah. anymore. 1952, <laughs> we'd have done it for $12,000. You know, so. Sticker shop. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the other thing that he had mentioned is that the, uh, the trash hauling fees for the dump, although that doesn't really impact the budget because it all comes out of the stickers and the fees, but the fees are probably going to go up. The stickers are going to go up next year. This is a 27% increase in hauling the trash from about 100,000 to 127,000. So it's a $27,000 lift that'll have to be spread out. Is that volume or is that uh, hauling cost? It's just, it's just the, the trucking costs have gone up. So the price of gas has come down and the price of hauling. Well, gas gone has gone back up again. It came down over the. It was down low until we had all these hurricanes and. And went back. It's, I don't know about you. Last time you bought gas, maybe you drive electric. Because I only really buy gas once a month. So. <laughs> <laughs> gas is still up a little bit. Down to one twenty-five. Really? So. Yep. So, anyways, there's there's an, an expense that's gone up a little bit there, so that'll be passed on to the stickers. Is that a month or? And that was the update that I had. Wow. Um, school's going to be ready for the sixteenth. <clears throat> so, I had discussion with the school committee. <clears throat> Okay, anything else? Anything, anybody heard anything about the town hall space? I have not. Um, you know, that's probably on me to, to chase that down. Mm -hmm. I, I need to find out where we're at with both the uh, update on the, the mm -hmm. field study and the, the town hall space. And I did speak to, to Chris on the roadway updates, and, and he's got a plan. He needs to come and talk to us about it. Maybe we can corner him when he's uh, with us on the 16th. And ask him a little bit more about the the roadway update and the roadway plan because he's looking at doing some things differently than we have been doing it because you can see some cost savings. I don't know if you've been down um, either Hartwell or Spec Pond, but he did some uh, maintenance down there, yeah, which was that. very reasonable. Yep. You know that that corner on <clears throat> Spec Pond as you're coming down from coming from the transfer station towards Hartwell Ave. There's a corner there, that, kind of low lying area, and your your vehicle would actually hop sideways. It was really bad. Mm -hmm. And um, they fixed they fixed all that up. They just did a like looks a, great. I think it called it micro micro surfacing or something like that. 
and uh, fix it up and made it look great and mm -hmm. much better. I mean, he did a spot on Hartwell Ave too. So he's looking to do some more of that kind of stuff to get us <laughs> by. And then the, you know, the discussion is whether, you know, in the past we'd look at when we do a road, we'd re-engineer the whole road, rip it up, redo it, do it, you know, right. <clears throat> probably better than it should be. But um, the problem is when you're building you know, $2 million roads, you can only do one road a year. Whereas if you look at maybe doing less work and at a lower cost, it might get you by the next 10 years versus, yep. you know, having to spend all that money up front and then all these other roads just continue to deteriorate. I, I don't know if I articulated that right, but no, no, that was my assessment. Provided enough maintenance. Where more PM, yeah, before, right? definitely more PM. Yeah. So, um, and yeah. then I'll, I'll, I'll take those two on with the, uh, the field study update and the town hall space. The, the only thing that we hear about the town hall space <coughs> uh, at PMBC is when does the bill to approve. So we don't have any other uh, information. Yeah. Okay. So All right. We, right. We don't have a study, but we got a bill, right? Oh, <laughs> yes. Got to pay them. Yeah, that's it. So the, the other thing is, it's not on here, but just to mention it was that, that item that came through about the Smith property and Sudbury Valley trustees buying that. Yes. So that's, that was like a. <laughs> yeah, I, that was actually, I thought that was great. Because yeah, that's I, awesome. Well, my feelings were about spending 400000 on land that's already got a conservation restriction. Why would, why, well, that's not good use of It was down to 150000 because of, because of the, the way the restrictions were. But it, it's the same point. Same point. Yeah, it's already, it's already preserved other than getting foot traffic access. So to have uh, SVT. Come in and buy. Yeah. I think that was a good. That's move. great. Nice. So that saves us from having to make that purchase. Yep. Good point. Any other um, financial dashboard discussion or member updates at this point? Who, who has um, the town administrator and Matt? Uh, you know what? I just cleaned out my notebook. Um, I, I didn't bring my. But the, a question for them is: Are they coming forward with the? Uh, um, Facilities manager. Yeah, I'll have to look that up. I, I'm, you know, I, I got to go dig through all my emails. I, I, I'll uh, make a note for the facilities. Sure. Update. Yeah, I'm not sure who has, who has. Uh, uh, I, I, without I've having the sheet in front of me, I don't know who got it, who, who had that assignment. I've got Selectman's office, so maybe. So you may have had, you may have it. I'll, I'll ask Anthony about okay. that. Okay. If you could get an update maybe by the next meeting, that would be, well, I'll probably, probably discussed on the 16th. Mm -hmm. That's our next meeting, which is the all-day meeting. So if they could come prepared to talk about that, that would be good. Um, anything else? To me, that's one of the top priorities in the town. I don't disagree. We've been talking about even that. For even, even if it comes with a bill for maintenance. Yeah. I mean, you know, everybody's crawling about what we're doing on the roads. All that is is maintenance. And our buildings are in the same boat. I mean, we're we're we should be doing more. We should be doing more. Yeah. I, I don't disagree with that. I mean, so you guys are seeing it when the repairs come up and some right. of that stuff was done earlier or, or spotted earlier probably the repair cost would have been lower mm -hmm. could have addressed it in advance <clears throat> different yeah it was a, a couple of years ago bill went up in the ceiling and pulled out a filter that was so black that you know no nobody had looked at it in a while yeah so it was uh there's a lot of stuff that needs to be attended to yeah point well taken for it okay anything else there <clears throat> Any other member updates? Anything else going on in town that we want to talk about? We good? We beat that one up pretty good. All right, uh, minutes. I need a motion for two, the left two minutes. right? Twenty yeah. fourth and the thirtieth. Yep. Okay. I'll entertain a motion if we can get one. So moved. Second. All the, for the so for both or just just the twenty fourth for the twenty fourth. Okay. Yep. Um, motion uh, for the 24th, uh, seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those opposed? None. Okay, how about the 30th? Can we, can we do the 30th? We need to have four, right? I don't think we can. 
Because you, you, you are not. You, Al is here, Steve is here, and Fred is here. It's only Tom and Betsy that were absent. Oh, Steve, you were you were at that meeting? Yep. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Then, then, then we're good. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't think you were. <laughs> you weren't there. It was at town meeting. Yeah. So oh, you were there? No. I was in was Florida. Was town meeting. I think you there. No. Well, there's an amendment to that. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four. Four people out of and three missing. Right. So yeah, you've got a quorum. With well, who, four. who are the four that you had on there? Greg. Yep. Alan, Gary Wilson, and. He's Fred. not here. In in no, Fred. But he was there then. Right, but he can't. He, can't we can't vote on. Not here. No, we can't vote. We so we can't three. vote on the thirtieth. We can't vote on the thirtieth. So if you could amend that though and send that out, I will. Then we'll vote it um, afterwards. So we're good on the twenty fourth. Yeah. Okay. Um, if there isn't anything else, I'll take a motion to a. Sure. Half an hour meeting. Good job, guys. Yeah, so moved. Second. Second. Yeah, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Happy holidays. You too. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. Enjoy uh -huh. turkey or whatever you prefer to eat. Okay.